गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम मुस्कान फ्रॉम बी एस सी केमिस्ट्री ऑनर्स थर्ड ईयर एंड टूडे आई एम डिस्कसिंग द चैप्टर यूज ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक एंड इन ऑर्गेनिक रियजेंट्स इन इन ऑर्गेनिक एनालिसिस रियजेंट्स आर दोज कंपाउंड्स विच आर यूज इन द इन ऑर्गेनिक एनालिसिस फॉर द डिटेक्शन एंड डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ आयंस एंड मोलिक्यूल्स अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक एज वेल एज इन ऑर्गेनिक रियजेंट्स हैव बीन यूज फॉर दिस पर्पज the inorganic precipitating reagents generally precipitate the inorganic species as sparingly soluble salts the organic precipitating agents form sparingly soluble products either through coordinate linkages or through ionic linkages between the inorganic species and organic precipitating reagent advantages of using organic reagents they are more specific than conventional reagents under certain conditions because of this property they can frequently be used to detect a single type of ion in a complex mixture they can be more sensitive classical semi micro methods of qualitative analysis will, will usually not detect much less than 100 gamma of a substance under specific test solution they can be adopted in quantitative analysis the organic precipitates are generally insoluble in water at a given ph and can be separated dried and weighed those reactions giving colored soluble products frequently show a regular change in color intensity with concentration of the substance under test and so are adoptable to an accurate comparison with colors common properties of organic reagents formation of colored precipitate organic reagent form direct characteristic color with the ions to be detected for locating end points such as as indicators employed in volumetric titration formation of precipitate due to difference in solubility this may be made on the basis of gravimetric method extraction in organic solvent at controlled ph masking reagents this increase the selectivity of the reagents difference in volatility oxidation or reduction to other valency state wash liquids the chemical nature of the organic reagent is important in determining the use of above mentioned properties advantages of organic chemistry it is due to the following properties that they are better precipitating reagents than inorganic reagents selectivity in many cases organic reagents are somewhat specific for example cobalt from nickel using alpha nitroso beta naphthol or dimethyl glucoside aluminum from iron using cupferon cadmium from copper using quinyl dinic acid and thiourea can be precipitated ease of drying organic reagents produce compounds that have little affinity for water and are dried easily at temperature low enough to prevent decomposition coprecipitation lack of ionic character of organic precipitation products greatly reduces coprecipitation in most cases for example the coprecipitation of sodium and potassium with magnesium is much less when the latter is precipitated disadvantages of organic reagents have volatility this is the first practical disadvantage of organic reagents because chelated compounds are non polar and the forces between individual molecule are not very great the sum of the metallic complexes which are precipitated are appreciable volatile above 130 to 145 50 degrees celsius and most decompose above this temperature impurities in the reagents it's very difficult to prepare an organic reagent of the same degree of purity as say in organic compounds impurities present in organic may enter into the precipitate during the precipitation and causes the reaction keto enol isomerism in such compound as diethiozone will cause error in the colometric work low solubility of the reagents in water this is the greatest disadvantage which your organic precipitate have in comparison with the inorganic precipitates high molecular weight and their colored compounds solubility in organic solvents because of their covalent nature most metal complexes are soluble in non polar solvents chloroform being usually the best such solvents are used to extract the complexes for colorimetric determination or they may be used simply for separating one element from another important organic reagents oxine c9h7on the structure of this reagent is given it is almost a colorless solid soluble in organic solvent and mineral acids it gives yellow color which may be due to the formation of quinoid structure and it was introduced by harm and berg in 1927 as analytical reagent the quantitative estimation of the complex is carried out by drying and being the hydrated or anhydrous complex or the complex is ignited to oxide and then we 
In volumetric method, on the precipitate is dissolved by filtering with hydrochloric acid and then resulting solution. The reagent is a two percent solution of oxine is two normal acetic acid dimethyl glyoxine. This reagent was given by Elsknab and was applied by Obrung for the determination of nickel in steel. The structure of this reagent is shown. This reagent gives an insoluble red chelate with Ni two positive ion in ammonical medium. For details, see the applications of the formation of complexes. Solution of palladium salts gives characteristic yellow precipitate in dilute HCl or H2SO4. For the studies, 1% solution of dimethyl glyoxine is employed. In spectrophotometric method, insoluble precipitate is extracted into chloroform, which yields yellow coloration and an optical density is measured. Alpha nitroso beta naphthol. The structure of this reagent is shown. It's an orange brown powder having the melting point of 109 degrees Celsius, soluble in organic solvents, but the almost insoluble in water. And the reagent is usually employed as a saturated solution in 50% acetic acid. This is common for the precipitation of many metallic radicals, but it is used specially for the detection of ferric iron, copper, and cobalt with palladium and uranyl salts in slightly acid solution. It gives insoluble colored compounds under suitable conditions. Nickel and magnesium, however, are not precipitated by this reagent. Therefore, the reagent in acid solution is used for the separation of nickel from cobalt, and the structure of chelated complex formed by this reagent is shown. Cupferone. Cupferone exists largely not in the nitroso hydroxy form but in the tautomeric amine oxide form. And the reagent is usually employed as a 6% aqueous solution but most useful in the strongly acidic solution. In the strongly acidic solution, it precipitates and precipitates should be filtered immediately after their formation. And the formation of chelated complex with Cu2 positive ion can be shown as follows. Aluminone. It's an ammonium salt of orine tricarboxylic acid. Its structure is shown in this figure and it's a brownish red powder freely soluble in water. It forms a brilliant colored lakes with certain metals, especially aluminium with which it gives a bright red lake. It's a dye and very important reason for spectrophotometric determination of aluminium. Rubenic acid. This is the diamide of dithioxalic acid and is an equilibrium mixture with its tautomeric diimidoform. The acid form combines with nickel, cobalt and copper to give colored water in soluble inner complex salts whose decomposition is shown in this figure. Rhodamine B. It is tetraethyl rhodamine represented by the structure. Solution of antimony salts in strong hydrochloric acids from red to violet and finally divide precipitates immediately or after standing. Trace amounts of antimony may be detected in the presence of large quantities of tin by means of this reason. Small amounts of iron do not interfere. Mercury, gold, palladium are precipitated while the molybdates and tungstate in acid solution give color reaction with the rhodamine B and similar to those given by antimony salt, the freshly prepared benzene solution is preferred to the aqueous solution. Benzidine. Its structure is given in the marzine in figure 18.8. It's a basic reason and employed in the slightly acidic solution as dihydrochloride. The residue resulting precipitates may be titrated against standard alkali. The important drawback of the method is the high solubility of the precipitate in water even when more dilute hydrochloric acid. It also precipitate in ions like phosphates and tungstates and give crystalline precipitates with number of metallic ions such as silver, copper, cadmium, gold, zinc and blue coloration in alkaline medium which is an important spot test for the metal ion. Cupron or alpha benzoin. Its structure is given in the figure. It's white crystalline solid. It is sparingly soluble in water but fairly soluble in alcohol. It's used as a reagent for quantitative determination of copper, molybdenum, and tungsten. Alcoholic solution gives a green precipitate with ammonical solution of the copper sulfate, and precipitation of other metals is prevented in the presence of tartaric acid. Cupron also precipitates.